have enjoyed the beach with your friends and family yesterday, and you'll want to head out there a lot more this summer. Here to help you make sure you're doing it the eco-friendly way, we've got Tiger Palafox with our Eco Revolution. You were there with your family yesterday. Yeah, it was a wonderful day yesterday. We got out to the beach and enjoyed the sunshine that happened on Monday, not so much on Saturday and Sunday, like you said. But it was a good time, and there was a lot of people out there, and I think they were all having a good time. But there's some things we've got to think about when we go to the beach or even go to a park. Because a lot of our drainage system works its way back to the beach. So it's a really good thing to talk about just as we're gearing up for the beach season. And you brought some show and tell for us today so we can just make sure that we're having a great, great time, but we want to leave the beach as beautiful and pristine as it was before we came. Exactly. One of the big things is all the single use plastic forks, knives, spoons, all of this stuff that we have here that's single use plastic, plastic cups here. See, they're really not single-use plastic, though. This cup can easily be washed and used over and over again. And a lot of people don't ever realize that. So a lot of times they bring them to the beach thinking they're going to throw them in the trash can, and then they're done with it. But, see, that's leaving so much waste and so many thousands of pounds of trash in our landfills that this could be reused. A lot of people, you know, it's a little bit of an investment. Why not reuse it and get the maximum use out of it? I've seen people put this in the washing machine and use it over and over again. Why not? Yeah, exactly. Why not? If you are, if you just can't bring it back with you, bring it home back with you, then think about something compostable. Paper plates, biodegradable forks or biodegradable cups, because then when you does go into the landfill, at least it will break down and not be there forever. Where do you like to buy those products where you know it's going to be biodegradable, you know it's going to be better for the environment? Believe it or not, every location has them now. Walmart, Target, Vons, any grocery store has an alternative. Believe it or not, I go to, I go to um, Smart and Final, and they have a whole section of wonderful biodegradable products, forks and napkins and cups and all that stuff that easily is bought oh, roughly the same price as the other stuff. And it's good for the environment if you're going to end, let it end up in the trash can. A lot of times, like you, you have your seven-month-old to carry, and you're bringing toys and things. So you might have some plastic bags or some cans, and you have some words of caution for that. Yeah. Nowadays at our beaches, we all have wonderful recycling containers that a lot of these aluminum cans, plastic bottles can go into. So therefore, they can be recycled later on. Also, when it comes to the plastic bags, these, these plastic bags that you get from the grocery store or anywhere else, they can be reused. So bring it home with you. Use it as a trash bag. Use it again. Give it to the grocery store to use again. But if you see that trash can and it's full, like overflowing with the trash, Move on to the next one because a lot of people don't realize that wind at the beach or birds or other creatures will take that trash, scatter it all around, and then that trash ends up in our waters and, and on our beaches, and it's much harder to clean up than if you were to just make sure to keep that trash can nice and compacted so that way it doesn't break out and get into the beach area. We've talked a lot about plastics, unfortunately, ending up in the ocean, and if we don't want to contribute to that, there are other containers and other things that we can be using that is a little more eco-friendly. Oh, definitely. Like I say, reusable items. Bring your Tupperware down with you, put it there, then you can take it home with you, and it's easy. I know it's plastic, but it's still reusable. Or just being, bringing down your normal metal knives or metal forks and things like that, because you can take those home with you, and they are reusable. So you got to think about whatever you, whatever you go to the beach with, you want to not leave anything there except your footprint. And that's all you really want to leave at the beach. And a lot of people don't think about even the smallest pieces of trash, like cigarette butts, bottle caps, and all that stuff. That's really damaging to our beach because people don't think about it, and thousands of people visit the beach each day. So therefore, it all gets littered with there. And then we end up having all kinds of cigarette butts, bottle caps, and tabs, and things like that that are all over the beach. And those are dangerous. Little bottle caps can be sharp for kids running around the beach. So you got to be careful. You have your beautiful little daughter, and you're teaching her the eco friendly way right. to go to the beach. What do you really want parents to pass on to their kids? Well, I think that we all have to understand that. Whenever we come and visit these wonderful locations, whether it's a state park, just a picnic park, or the beach, is that whatever we bring, we have to make sure that we leave it better than when we left it. And there's all kinds of organizations that do beach cleanups and all kinds of cleanups and things like that, but why not get your family out there and do your own cleanup? And why not make that kind of an annual thing that you do? You don't have to be a part of any group. You can go out there, grab a trash bag, start picking up trash, making sure it gets in the recycling after a big weekend like Memorial Weekend or Fourth of July. And who knows? There's a lot of recycling out there that people just leave around that 
for your kids it might be fun because it's a chance to make a little bit more money and then you make it make it a really good process for them that they get rewarded mm. because of what the efforts that they put in. Yeah, Fe and feeling good to do something for for Definitely, Mother always feeling good. All right, Tiger, thanks so much for coming on, filling us in on the eco revolution, and you still have to work with your daughter about leaving the sand at the beach, not putting it in oh, her mouth. Oh, everything goes in the mouth yeah. right now, and it's oh, I can't wait to see when it comes out of the diaper. Oh, oh. fun time! <laughs> Glad I brought that up. Right, have a wonderful Tuesday.